Right, okay, so we've just finished our warm-up. Um, we're going to do two exercises today. We're going to progress through to a power clean from the floor. But the first one that we're going to be doing is just a power shrug from the floor. So the power shrug from the floor is just the first process of power clean from the floor. So if we can master that first, we should be able to get our first yeah, get our technique right for the power clean. Um, first of all, do you have any medical issues or any prior injuries that I need to know about? No, that good. Should yeah, no, it's all sweet. But um, so yeah, basically the power shrug from the floor is just being able to get that power through your hips and through your upper traps um, so that you can progress through to your power clean from the um, from the floor. So we're just going to, oh, first of all, I'll just show you how to do it properly. Um, the first phase obviously is to get the bar off the ground, so it's just a standard deadlift. I'm sure we've done plenty of them before. So it's just shoulder, um, feet about shoulder width apart. We just want to bend down, we want to get parallel with the ground. We just want to have our hips up, scaps back, and we're just deadlifting up. And then to get our shrug movement up, we want to get the bar as vertical as possible. So we want to just shrug up, but as, as we're shrugging up, we want to use our sort of calves and calf raise up a bit. Okay. So it's just one big power movement. So. So as you're going up, we just want one clean movement, so we don't yeah. want to, we don't want to bend our knees or anything. It's just one, one big movement up and down. So we're going to do about four sets of six. Yep. Start off with. Um, we want to keep it low rep, so we don't get as much muscle fatigue, so we can maintain our power through the movement. So yep. is there any questions with technique or anything? No. Give it a crack and on. There you go. Look. Yep. Yeah. So we maintain that good back posture. Deadly for that, yep. There we go. That's me. That's not fair, so just get six reps out. The six? Yep, drop it down. So just probably there's a few, that was pretty good, but there's a few little pointers I can pick up on. Maybe just with your shoulders, just try not to keep it round, try to keep your scaps back. And so you're not hunching over, just so you can get that good posture yep. through the lift. So, yeah, just try to maintain your scaps back. And when you're shrugging up, you just want to maintain that. So that's the power shrug. So for the purpose of today, this is only a demonstration, so we'll only do one set of that. Yep. But normally, as I said, yeah, four, to, four uh, sets with normally about six reps. And that should be able to get you through powerful through three hips and, and three out upper back and, and yep. traps. So we'll progress on to our power clean from the floor. Yep. So yeah, this is a really good exercise for once again just power three hips, power three lower body, and also just transitioning the bar into the into the clean. So I'll show you how to do this. It's basically the same principles as the power shrug and the deadlift. The only thing is just transitioning the bar up to your, up to your shoulders. So we want to sort of try to keep the movement as quick as possible, as I said, powerful. So it's the same thing with the deadlift and the shrug, but we're just getting under it. So same thing, shoulder width apart with your feet. Same with your, same with your arms there, drop them back. So I just want to catch it. And then reset the bar after every rep. Yep. And then we should go again. So when we're shrugging it, we just want to quick flick the wrists. Yep. And try to maintain your elbow height as high as possible. We don't want to let the bar go down. We want to try to catch it with your wrist. So wrist mobility might be a little bit of a factor if you're first time doing this exercise, but as you go on, you should be able to get better at it. And then just that late dip too with your knees. It's probably the another key focus, just so we're not putting too much pressure onto your knees. Yep. So that's one. So there you go with that, mate. It's probably yep. one. Yeah, again, we'll just do four sets of six, but we'll see how you go with the, with the first set. Yep. 
Yep, so just with that one, I suppose try to get, as I said, just try to get your shoulders as as high as, as you can yep. and try to get your wrists to just deflect back a little bit so you're just catching it a little bit more. Okay. So it's not put as much pressure on you as in your joints. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Try to get as vertical, vertical as you can with the bar on the shrug. That's it. So really emphasize that shrug. There we go. Good work. Okay, sweet. So that's awesome. That's the power shrug and that's the, the power clean from the fall. Is there any questions you have on any of those exercises? Or no. Let's happy with that? Yep. So yeah, as I said, it's probably a good thing for, for a low, low body workout to, to start that off and then you can go on to your hypertrophy exercises and everything. But for power exercises, I reckon this is probably the best power exercise you can do. So. Excellent. Well done, mate. Excellent. Cheers.